my bikes, I don't know who the fuck I'll be. I see it being a sport. I see it being legal in the future. They're giving us a park where we can ride at and not have to run from the cops all day. Fuck that shit. If I gotta keep going to jail, I'm gonna keep doing it because this is what I love. I believe in this and I believe this is the next thing that's gonna take off. There's no other feeling that makes me feel like how I am on a bike. I just feel like I can do whatever I wanna do. And I can move the bike to wherever I need to move it. And I feel like a god, you get what I'm saying? Tonight is Friday night, so it's usually like a ride out. We ride into Times Square, we go through Harlem, Bronx. We ride through the whole city, we ride everywhere. Like the whole city comes out, we all connect, you know what I'm saying? It just makes me feel great, like, that's that, this is my world, bro. I consider the bike thing as a sport, you get what I'm saying? So when you move around, you just gotta make sure your body is like in shape. My homeboy, he got a gym, he's a, a private trainer, so I try to get up with him like every other week. What's good? We gonna get up on the treadmill and get a little warm up in before we get started, all right? I usually go to the gym on my own, but he gives me like new things to do and just, he motivates me, you get what I'm saying? I try to stay around the right circle that's in the positive things. I know you was telling me about your arms on the bike and all of that. Yeah, so we gonna My shoulders some... pop in and out. Okay, I got a great exercise for your shoulders. We gotta strengthen those stabilizers, you know what I'm saying? Now keep your shoulders, you know what I'm saying, in place. It was years I didn't go to the gym, you get what I'm saying? But just being in a neighborhood I grew up in, in the hood, drinking and just eating wrong. So now I just want to really give it my all and just go hard. Balance is key for him, you know, and his core has to be firing, has to be working all the time. So that's why we want to do more functional movement to get him more focused on his breathing, you know, and his core engagement so that when he's switching sides on that bike or he's wheeling, this is the most important thing. So making him aware of his imbalances, it'll be really beneficial for what he's trying to do. I'm bad at this balance. Yeah. You're not bad at balance, you just gotta do balance. Yeah, That's right, it. no, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's at a high level. So I would put him on the same platform as professional athletes, you know, based on level of difficulty, danger, <laughs> situations. So I'm just trying to help him get to that next level. The media and the cops look at it like we're doing something wrong, you get what I'm saying? But yeah. they don't see how hard we go to really do the shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They are loud, they're dangerous, and they're outlawed on the streets of the five boroughs. But that hasn't kept them off the roads or prevented them from scaring people half to death. I look forward to standing with the commissioner when we crush a number of these dirt bikes. We want to send out a very strong message to the nitwits and knuckleheads, creating extraordinary dangers, not only for themselves, but more importantly, for the public. They just see us as a bunch of gang members, just all getting together and messing up traffic or making loud sounds. They just don't understand that this is an outlet for people to stay out of trouble, you know what I'm saying? Motivate the kids to do something positive than just hang around on the street, you get what I'm saying? Some people hop on sidewalks and do shit that make the cops not like it, you get what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna be like, oh, they 100% wrong for not liking it. I understand why they chase some people, you get what I'm saying? For me, I still do it, but I promote it in a better way, you get what I'm saying? Like, you'll never see me riding on sidewalks. Yes, we run lights sometimes. That's just part of what we do. But I stop the traffic, I make sure I'm like directing it right. I don't just run in front of a car, you get what I'm saying? I'm not gonna act like I'm a fucking angel or this thing is like an angel sport. But we try to get to where we need to go with it. Cause I got four cases. My mom told me stop riding. But it's like, you want me to stop? Like, God gave me a talent, you get what I'm saying? I found my talent. So it's like, I'm not about to stop because the cops keep locking me up. If I got to keep going to jail, I'm going to keep doing it because this is what I love. I'm not going to stop. Yeah, this boy, you can't even think about getting hurt. If it comes with it, it's come with it. Have you gotten hurt? Yeah, I got hurt bad. I got hurt a lot of times. One of the worst times, I got hit by a cab. I'm saying I woke up like three days later, I had bleeding in my brain. I couldn't control the whole, like the whole left side of my face. I, I couldn't control it. And that was for like almost a year, a year plus I'll say. For a minute, my mom was convincing me like, oh no, forget the bikes. And I'm like, ah oh, yeah, fuck the bikes. Cause I was so hurt. Summertime came around and I saw my boys riding by. I'm like, man, fuck this. I'm getting back on my bike. And I believe in this and I believe this is the next thing that's going to take off. This is crazy because 
it keeps me out of so much trouble and gets me in so much trouble at the same time, like, serious. So, the deal with uh, JT Racing is all signed up. Yeah, I heard they um, finished it. Ready to go. The first activation they want to do with you is ComplexCon. Where is that? That's in Long Beach, California. So the one thing that we got to confirm is um, meeting with your PO to make sure that she allows you to travel. Also, what was the um, case title? What is it? Reckless driving? What is it? The one I'm going through right now, yeah. Yeah, it's two of them, right? Yeah, it's actually four cases. Four cases? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, they all tied up together, though. Okay. Reckless, reckless endangerment running, right. reckless shit. And what's the status? In New York, they start off as uh, felonies. Right. So they're still felonies right now, but they're going to get dropped. Okay. Bike life culture reminds me of the skateboard culture in the 80s and the 90s, Boy, right? Fact. Because the cops, they were harassing them the same way they harass you. But then 20 years later, 25 years later, so they, they have parks. skate parks. They got parks in every borough. Right. They don't see no money in it. That's yeah, what it is. No it's a, that's why I be telling people this is a beginning sport, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's going to pop in a couple years. Once people see that, you can make money off of it. These companies nowadays look for influencers, mainly on Instagram. The numbers dictate your influence, mm -hmm. right? And so JT Racing posted on their uh, Instagram account. Did you review some of the comments? Yeah, I saw them. I just laughed at it, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. people don't understand where I came from, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. This is people that live with nothing but dirt trails and open right. land. Right. And they talking about me that got nothing but a dirt bike and to go outside, you know right. what I'm saying? You know what I found interesting was that how they indicted you as a bike thief. Like, I don't they even know what- bike thief? They said a thug? Yeah, a thug. Why did I say- And I didn't understand, like, where did that derive from? Like, it just came out of nowhere. He steals bikes. I said, you know? man, I'm a businessman. I'm a father, man. Yeah. I don't know what they're talking about. I just laugh at stuff like that. You can't even pay attention to the negativity. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. I don't think about shit like that. Right. I know what I am. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm striving for greatness. So I don't care what they say. Well, I liked how Funk Master Flex jumped in in your Yeah, band. Flex, Flex showed a lot of love because he see what's going on. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. You come from the street level and then you get to the other level, you see people that's doing good shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not being negative. Everything is positive. And he promotes you on his show sometimes. Mm -hmm. All talks the time. about you. Yeah. There's a lot of people at me and DMing me. But let me be clear. I ain't never seen nobody do it in traffic and against traffic like Leaky the Bike Store. And I really don't know him from nowhere, to be honest. Like, I don't know why he found my Instagram or nothing, but he showed love. Like, well, see, that's the power of social media. But one of the things that I want to inspire with you as you get older and I leave the scene, is understand your value and make a business out of understanding your value. That's the most important piece that I would like to share with everybody. And so understand your value and move on from that point on. On the money, baby, on the money. Friday night. I love this shit. We have my boy Mechanic Shop, you know what I'm saying? It's my boy Josh Speed, you know what I'm saying? It's a mechanic. He fucks my bikes up a lot, but you know what I'm saying? It's my boy, good energy. You know what I'm saying? Good vibes, it's my man. He look at it like once a week, go over everything, make sure the chain is right. Always make sure that chain tight. You're robbing yourself of power. You never stay up. Any little thing could, that could be the end of it, you get what I'm saying? So you gotta really take, make, make sure your shit is right. Oh, man, I've been doing this shit since mini bike days. Uh, you know, it's been a long time. You know, uh, I just, I just love it. You know what I mean? And, and the sport got bigger, and um, you know, dealing with Leaky and, and you know how they do it. You know, it's just it's a different energy. You know, we have our fun. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to hurt nobody. You know, he's good. He got nicer. He respect the game. I think a lot better. You know what I'm saying? We've been through our ups and downs. You know, so now it's time to be serious about. It whole game, the whole situation. It's not easy. You know, I would love to open the track. Right here in the city somewhere if we could, you know, we could make it happen, but I doubt it'll ever happen. Right, right. You know, I think that'll make a lot of peace. Man, we've been in turn up, man. We about to go crazy. 
Lane, what are we doing, Lane? Yeah, about to go down, man. You got to lean up. Where the lean at? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's go. 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 Let's go.
to be honest, a bike really saved my life. You get what I'm saying? From my day-to-day -day living, you know what I'm saying? To looking at my future. It's all wrapped around a bike. The media and everything that paints it into a bad light is really not that bad, you get what I'm saying? I'm about to feed my family off a, a bike. You get what I'm saying? What they say is so bad. So I thank God for putting me in the position he put me in. That shit just made me who I am today. Thank you.